Well, good morning, everyone. It's uh, 10 a.m. in California, and it's already 81 degrees at 10 a.m. <laughs> in February. I love it. I hope you guys are doing well. We're going to start heading straight west, but it is going to take me several days to get all the way to the coast, and I have lots of fun stops along the way before San Diego. In the meantime, this dry, deserty theme is going to stick with us as we tap into Interstate 8 up here a little higher, and uh, we're just going to enjoy the ride. Uh, life is awesome. I am so happy. I'm in such a good mood. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet, and there is a link below in the video description in case you're still looking for some Nomad good, unlimited, unthrottled internet. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, we're going through the town of Holtville right now. I uh, want to find a place to park over here and go check out one thing. We are going to be going north for a little bit here, uh, making a little bit of a detour. I actually had to make some reservations in order to pull this off. So, yeah, more on that uh, towards the end of the video. Excited about our camping digs here later. And I don't think I'm going to be able to park anywhere in this town. Everything is parallel parking. It's like like anti-RV, there's this Class B van here that can fit, but I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. They kind of force me to park in a residential area here. That's all I can do sometimes. Some of these cities uh, don't consider what uh, RVs, travelers, tourism, is going to do, where they're going to park. <laughs> it's winter, and I have to worry about getting sunburned possibly today. Maybe? Maybe I should wear some sunscreen. Okay, they're setting up a little uh, carnival, I guess, for this weekend with a bunch of kitty rides. Pretty cool. But little fun fact for you and take a trip back into time. I used to be a carny. <laughs> for, for, for one season, I traveled with uh, Funtastic, a uh, local kind of West Coast I-5 corridor basically San Diego to Seattle, Washington, uh, for one season. Boy, carnies, carnies are hard people to get along with in a workplace. It's like, it's like prison mentality. I'm so much better than you. You're doing, you do what I say. It's like, bro, we're equals. I never got along with anyone. I know that's not true. I had one friend that I got along with, uh, other than that. Carney people are difficult to work with. Yes, of course they're doing some lawn maintenance while I'm while I'm filming. Of course, um, I bet a lot of people that might come here to Holtville might just walk right past this pyramid. Well, I don't even know if I can actually call it a pyramid. A pyramid has four sides, four equal sides. This uh, pyramid here in Holtville has three sides. However, it's not really just a pyramid. This is a time capsule and time capsules can be found all over the country. A time capsule is something that at some point uh, people gathered stuff. They won't be artifacts, but they turn into artifacts. In other words, if I were gonna do a time capsule, I may take a 55 gallon drum. I'll put a GoPro in there. Uh, maybe I'll put my PS4 system in there, seal it all up, slap on the date as 2022 and then say, this was so much fun, I want you to open this in 50 years from now. So in 2072, whoever's alive during that time gets to break it open and see, oh cool, what are we gonna find in here? So there's a little plaque on this one. Within this terra drawn is embedded a time capsule preserving the records of our country's 200th birthday. As celebrated by the community of Holtville, California, dedicated this July 4th, 1976 is when they sealed this up to be opened July 4th, 2026. That's just four years away, guys. In four years, they're gonna crack this open and what are they gonna find in here from, from the 70s? Uh, if I find myself back in this area of Southern California in four years, uh, I think it would be a lot of fun to film the opening of this time capsule. 
or any time capsule in in the country but yeah well time capsule let's continue walking and try to get away from the lawnmowers and everything because it's starting to mess with my allergies i have seasonal allergies which usually wouldn't hit till june but in california where it's 80 some degrees and they're always mowing the lawns they're kicking up that that grass and stuff and it's bothering me again <laughs> opie dopes what are you doing with my cord this is you can't be messing with well actually you don't you don't have any priors for chewing cords do you do you want to tell everybody what, what your thing is tell them you tell them right now what you do well my name's opie and i like to mess with the toilet paper and the paper towels i shred them and i kill them for you dad i hope I hopes yeah i had to pull off a, a bunch of these actually because he just shredded it completely i may have to move this inside into a cupboard or something every once in a while i'll leave a new roll of toilet paper out on the counter in there when i park instead of putting it on the roll inside the cupboard but i need to remember to start putting it away because of this little putz with a bow oh, he bites he bites was that a love bite oh okay that didn't feel very loving i don't know why i said i'm gonna be on interstate 8 today i'm not and i knew that I'm never, I'm never gonna touch it once. We are going north here on farm roads with agricultural commercial land on both sides. Some of the city names, like we're getting close to Calipatria and we're gonna be making a stop up here in Brawley, California. These city names bring back a lot of memories from the good old times when I first started all this and was out here. It's been, it's been a while though. But yeah, we are going north towards a big body of water yeah um see that big pole sticking out over there with the american flag on it old glory may have another world's largest if my tips are right let me get parked and we'll go check it out uh, there is an amazon locker here in brawley which i'm using and uh i don't know what is up with amazon lately or if it's just something here in the southwest but i have a package that was guaranteed to be delivered today it still hasn't been shipped by Amazon. Um, I'm going to be here a couple days, so it's no worries. I've got Tater Tot to come back and get it. But I scratched the, the lens cover on my camera, so I had to order some new ones. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's up. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, get a load of this flag. As monster, guys. Little plaque in front of us is telling me that I was wrong. We are actually in Calipatria, California. Brawley is nearby, though. Home of the world's tallest flagpole. Top at sea level, the lowest down city in the Western Hemisphere, 184 feet below sea level. Let me repeat that one more time. We are 184 feet below sea level here in Calipatria. That's very strange, right? But it's such a a water drought stricken area that it doesn't really matter it's just 184 feet below sea level here that's strange because we're on our way to a big sea over here and yeah it's like impossible to see how big this flag pole really is so i'm gonna walk over here to the next block so we can get a better view all right compared to miranda and tater tot there and how tall the palm trees are get a load of that flag guys that's beautiful now I'm gonna let you know right now, I love to travel. I'm not one of those nomads who just likes to camp and sit in places. For me, it really is about seeing new stuff and physically traveling every single day. I do not like to sit still. And if you know me, you know that about me. It just, it keeps me alive and, and, and excited about the future to be able to travel every single day but in order to enjoy this next stop i did have to make reservations because it is a california state park a state recreation area on the historic national register so from calipatria right now we're going to continue to go north look at this old stop sign with the light in the intersection yeah, we're going to go north about 43 miles towards the Salton Sea. And uh, we'll get checked in when we get there, guys. You know what this is? Okay, this is a, this is a border patrol. I, I don't remember this one being here. It's a weird place for a border patrol because we've gone so far north, we're nowhere near the Mexico border. But, yeah, 
this is this is not an agricultural stop they may make me turn my cameras off actually but look at all these cameras off to our right I'll tell you what those are in just a moment yeah they're gonna redirect us through this border checkpoint more cameras on this side if you've never been through one of these He's just waving me through. Have a good one. Nope. Oh, okay. He didn't even want to talk to me. <laughs> okay, so those those cameras. I saw 20, 30 different styles of cameras. Those cameras can sense heat. So before we even got to the checkpoint, the officer's already talking to the other officer looking at the screen. They know that I have two pets inside my RV. Like, they know exactly how many people are in your vehicle because they can sense the heat. <laughs> All right, so now in front of us and to our left, you might be able to see the Salton Sea out there, which is draining. It's uh, going away a little more all the time, but it, I still see some water out there. We're going to be camping on the Salton Sea. So, it's far away out there. We're going to get a lot closer up here. we got six miles till the park entrance. Alright, this is us. Off the left here, the Salton Sea State Recreation Area. I can make it in front of this truck. And it's like a little oasis out here in the California desert. Look at the palm trees! So, oh my gosh, those are some healthy palm trees. Wow. Oh, geez, do I have to wear a mask up here? I don't know, because Cal... You're probably watching this on Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to you guys, but I haven't heard if they're renewing the mask mandate in California on the 15th or not. I don't know if they've told us yet. Okay, do I got to get out and go inside? I probably got to dig out a mask, huh? Nope, he's coming to the door. And she's wearing a mask, of course. He's... Yeah, I don't know about that. They kept extending it on the 15th of December, January. It was set to expire here on February 15th. But knowing California, I bet they probably extended it again because they're not ready to live life here. <laughs> That's kind of why I'm sticking to more natural areas, guys. It's just, it's just better for me to stay outdoors where I can enjoy nature and not deal with all the stupid, just never-ending mask and COVID crap. <laughs> you know, I'm just over it, you know. Rant over. All right, we're all good to go check in. Let's see if I uh, picked a good site here. Uh, they also, since the last time I was here six or seven years ago, they've added two new campgrounds to this area. Um, I picked the one that I've been to before because I like it, uh, you know, but I think the other sites are closer together because they're full hookups. And so with full hookups, you have septic under the ground, which means they have to cram in all the sites really, really close to each other. Um, at least that's my thinking. Maybe we'll go check it out later, but I want to get parked, get this air conditioning going because it's so hot, so hot. I'm going to start seeing mirages out on the, the desert out there. All right, this should be our camp area in front of us. You can see some RVs there and look. In front of us, you've got the Salton Sea, which I think I see a beach. Okay, we'll come back to that. I don't want to get too excited, and but we got to go uh, over here. So yeah, right off to our left, these are all pull-through sites. I guess technically they're still pretty close together, but oh, I see what it is. There's a camp post site, so I'm parking next to the camp post. This was the the first available site to the public here, site two. That's not that bad. Let me park. I'm gonna have a palm tree in front of me at least. That's cool. That's pretty cool. And because it's pull through, I didn't have to unhook the car first. I can go and unhook the car right after I get parked here. Awesome. Oh, all right, uh, I'm parked in my site. Got tater tot unhooked so I can go explore. Got the air conditioner on and it's now 91 degrees here in Mecca, 
California and oh my gosh that sunshine just feel the heat on my arms so got Miranda parked here I got my my new flag going up there that's right I finally updated my flag and got a custom don't be a tater hater flag with the kitties on my shoulder uh, that I think that is now my 11th flag that I have just I can always mix it up and put something different up there you guys haven't even seen all my flags just so you know but yeah, and I stand corrected. These are actually full hookup sites. For some reason, I guess I didn't know that. Uh, 30 amps, so I had to use my adapter. There's water, I'll fill up before I leave. And then way, way back here is the dump, which honestly, I don't even know if I, even if I use my extender, if I would be able to reach it. So I might have to use my, I might have to go to the dump on the way out anyway, but the salt and sea out there. I'm gonna slap some sunscreen on, bring out the kitty buggy. And I'm gonna take both kitties and we're gonna go to the beach here and check out the salt and sea together. Sound good? All right. All right, we got a full buggy here. Are you guys getting alongs? You both got your new horn. That's the one Opie picked out at PetSmart. Tara's got her own and they fits and sits. You guys ready? You wanna go check it out? Here we go, guys. Mm, good kitties. Opie, are you ready for this? Man, let me out, Dad. Yeah, when we get to the beach, you can come out and play in the sand. This will be both years first. Well, I don't know, Tara, have you seen the beach? It's not really an ocean beach, so I don't even think it counts, but let's go try it out. All right, kitties, what do you think, guys? Opie, Tara, you putting up with Dad's shenanigans? I appreciate you putting up with Dad's craziness. What do you think of the beach, guys? It's pretty crazy, huh? Isn't that crazy, kitties? You wanna go play in the sand? Opie, you can go play in the sand. There's a sign that says, do not let your pets drink the water. It's got high salt, whatever you call it levels. So yeah, you guys can't drink the water, but you can play on the beach, okay? Okay, so it's a good day for a buggy ride. Let's take a closer look at the sand. See, it's not, it's not, it's not sand like uh, Panama City Beach in Florida. It's weird shells, like crushed shell. A little, little different, a little different out here. In fact, maybe before we get to the water, since it's, since it's not safe for pets, maybe I should let them out here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it one at a time. I'm gonna take Tara out first on the leash and see how she does. Got it stuck. Opie, you have to stay for a tiny minute, okay? Opie, Tara's gonna go explore a little bit. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird, Tara? Is it too hot? No, it's cold. It's cold. What do you think? You having issues? You don't like the harness, do you? You have to wear it. You're slouching. There you go. There him goes. Are you not digging it, Tara? There's train coming. Not digging it, girlfriend? All right, you want to give Opie a try? Opie, you want to show Tara how it's done? You don't like that train either, huh? Yeah, they got a train going by behind my RV over there. What do you think of that weird ground, Opie? Is that pretty crazy? It's, wor it's worth a good sniff, huh? It's definitely worth a good sniff. Come here. No, you can't get out of that. You're just gonna have to learn to accept the harness. Because harness, you need one. You actually do need a harness. Is there something crazy in there? Opie dopes? What's up, buddy? He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. And don't worry, guys. I'm not trying to turn these two kitties into a Jax. Uh, Jax was unique. Uh, if I could just get one of these little goobers to enjoy being outside and learn to walk on a leash, I'll be happy. But um, this could take some time. <laughs> I'm just glad I have them. Love you, Tara. You're a good girl in there. There you are. Here, you want a brother? I'm going to put him around right on top of you. There you go. Watch tail. I don't, I don't think it's cat buggy approved down there. And I'm gonna take the kitties back and then we'll, then we'll go to the water, the beach. Yeah. Oh, can I just show how good they're doing guys? I know, I, I put you guys through a lot, but you guys are so well behaved. You are, you guys are great. I love you, Tara. Thanks for putting up with each other's. <laughs> I mean, you, you do kind of poop in the same box. Watch your head, watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. Scooch your head back in so I can, thank you. Appreciate that. 
go drop the kitties off in the air condition of the RV, and then grab a mask, head over to the visitor center, see if we can score a magnet over there. Well, they didn't have anything that specifically said salt and sea, but I did get a magnet, a California State Parks magnet that has the, the bear on it. Um, and I'll just remember that I got this from the Salton Sea. And uh, yeah, there's the visitor center plaque there. This and is by far the strangest material to walk on. It doesn't sound like sand, doesn't feel like sand, but if you didn't know, you would just expect I'm walking on a sandy beach. It's just nothing but crushed shells and it stinks. Another train. It absolutely stinks out here. Let's find out why closer to the water. Oh, weird. Uh, we're seeing a, a texture change here. That's what we were walking on. Look at how white and salty everything is here. Like when the, the lake comes up this, I don't know if it's a tidal lake, if it changes throughout the day or what. But man, the smell is getting bad, guys. Here we are a little bit up closer. And you can just see huge deposits of salt, hence the Salton Sea, that continues to dry up more and more every single day. And they believe that one day the entire Salton Sea will be gone. Maybe not in our generation, but one day. The smell though, it doesn't smell like salt. It just smells like just dead cart like dead fish carcasses and I can't find a single dead animal carcass so I don't know where it's coming from holy cow it's hot <sighs> well you got your wish Eric there's there's still people up north under the snow <sighs> it's a dry heat it's a dry heat yeah Well, it's about dinner time. Are there any hungry kitties in the RV? Um, I figured I would show you our uh, feeding schedule. So the, cat, the cats eat twice a day in the morning at dinner and our routine is exactly the same. They both get a half a cup of dry and about two ounces of wet food. But I wanna show you the process because it's actually kind of funny. Opie kinda, well, you'll, you'll see. You hungry, Opie? You hungry? Terry, you hungry? Did you call Opie over? So now Opie knows. Good deal. Okay. Here's how we do it. First, we fill up some waters. By the way, I'm not going to fill up water here because uh, it's just an area and I don't trust the water for drinking. So I'll fill up at my next spot. Then I gather up the empty bowls here. A cup of dry food split into two. So they both get a half a cup of dry. And then, of course, they always get wet food. It's really not much. It's just a spoonful, see? So, and we go through one of these cans a day. So I put my spoonful in both. But before I deliver these, I scoop up one more now, and I get this ready so that I don't have to make a noise later. And I have to sit that right there, okay? Now, we can go put the bowls down. And Opie starts on the left. Tara starts on the right. However, we're going to get to a certain point here in about 60 seconds where Opie's going to finish before Tara and he will go help himself to her bowl. He will kick her out of her bowl and start eating her food. But Tara knows. Watch her look up at me as she waits for me to sneak this spoonful into the bowl that Opie gave up. So go ahead and do your normal thing, guys. I can just kind of hover this here because Opie will never even know this exists. Once he gets into Tara's bowl, it doesn't matter what I do. Looks like Opie just finished. So now he'll sneak in and see Tara's looking at us. She's like, come on, Dad, he stole my food. So then we, shh, gotta be quiet. Gotta be quiet. So then we give Tara a little bit more. And Opie will finish Tara's. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And it's the exact same routine twice a day. I love these fur babies and fuzzy butts.
I finally got it cooled down in here where it's at a comfortable level where I could turn off the air conditioning about 77 degrees outside and about 70 inside. So before I go to bed tonight, I'm going to crack a few windows and let some, some, let some fresh air in. Or am I? That smell of the salt. And see, I might not do that tonight. I may either just turn the fan on or set the AC to a certain temperature. I'll have to wait and see. But I'm going to close this video out, guys. I've got plenty of plans here in California, and I'm going to keep whipping out these videos and continuing to travel and explore some new things. So stay tuned. Uh, Tara and Opie and I will see you in the very next video from California. Please consider giving me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And leave me a comment and tell me how cold or hot it is where you're at right now. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.